Today we're doing a chic fashion logo. Join me and let's do this. You're going to open a logo template on Canva and you're going to change the background of the logo and make it black. Then you're going to add text. So you press T from your keyboard and you add text. And we are working with Noista. If I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Norwista, that font. And the size, we would like to use a size 75. And then the name of the business is Suri. And you're gonna size that nicely up above. So you're gonna click and duplicate this text. Control C and Control V, or you could also use the three dots and duplicate. So once you've duplicated that, you're going to type the word fashion. So the fun thing or the fun concept we're doing today is to combine the two letters so that they are one and then we add a graphic. So you're going to align it nicely like that so that it's perfectly aligned so that when you add the line that combines them, it looks seamless. So in order for us to add the line, you're going to duplicate that again. And then you're going to just delete the SUR. And then you're going to move your eye so that it is nice and seamless. Once that's done and you are happy, we can stick to the white color or we can go to red. So you can choose whichever color you want to stick with. I'm going to leave it as white. And then I'm going to go to elements and search for fashion graphics. So you would type either clothing or fashion graphic. And then you would select graphic and scroll down until you find the graphic that you want to use. I've saved mine. So if you're working with graphics, and you want to keep them, you need to star them so that you can find them when you need them. So I've starred mine and I'm going to click and edit to our design and change color to white. How you star a logo or a graphic rather, you click and you highlight on it and you click on the eye and then you can star the design or the graphic so that you can find it under star whenever you need it next time. So you're going to size this nicely so that it fits the logo like that. And your 2D is done. So all you do now is you click on download and you can download it as transparent because we're going to use it on photo P to add it on the t-shirt. So if you don't have the pro version, you're welcome to go to remove.bg or you can try the link below for my affiliate and um, play around with Canva Pro for 30 days and then let me know in the comments how you find it. You just click on download and then it would download and that's it. So um, I've already duplicated the graphic so that we can use it on the t-shirt so all you do you just duplicate the page delete the text and then you have the graphic on its own next you're going to go to www.photop.com i'm going to put it on the description below so that you can find it and then you're going to go to psd templates and we're going to look for the mock-up for the t-shirt so you click on mock-up scroll down and you find the realistic mock-up and you click on the link that says photo P with that funny naming convention. And once it's loaded, then you are able to add the logo design that you've done on Canva. So you're going to go to where it says design shortcuts and you're going to open it and it shows design one and shows design two. So design one is the first one. Design two is the background of the t-shirt. So we're going to start with design one. You're going to double click on design one and there's the mock-up, the wording. 
you're gonna hide the artwork like that and then you're going to add your own template the one that we've just created so you click and you drag it size it nicely and then you're gonna go file save as smart object and then it's saved then you're gonna click on the 20 PSD logo and then it's added there then you're gonna double click on design 2 and you're gonna hide that artwork and you're gonna place the second part of our design you're gonna go file save as smart object and then you're going to click where it says 20 PSD and here's the logo added on the t-shirt so next you're going to do exactly the same for the tags you want the tags to show this fashion icon that you've just created so you're going to double click on tag hide the artwork and follow the same principle and done the last thing that you would do is to download the logo so that you can share it with your client so you're gonna go file export as png and then you're done if you've enjoyed this video smash the like button i'll see you next time when you say i am designing mm -hmm.